The first question you might ask is why we should use type hints or type annotations in Python. As you might know, Python is a dynamically typed language, which implies that the data type of a variable is determined at runtime. In other words, you are not mandated to declare the data type of the value that a variable accepts because Python can recognize the data type based on the current value it holds. I will be using Python 3.11 throughout this course. If you are using any version that comes before Python 3.11, you might notice that some imports will not exist or some type annotations won't work with your code. I'll do my best to address the workarounds for other Python versions, but just keep in mind that if you get an error in your code, it's very likely that you are using another Python version. Before doing anything else, let's go to the VS Code extensions tab and search for the PyLands. Make sure that you have already installed the Python VS Code extension and set it up properly to run Python 3.10 or above. As I said, I'm using Python 3.11. PyLands is an extension that provides Python language support. Basically, PyLens has the ability to supercharge your Python IntelliSense experience with rich type information. What do I mean by this? Let me provide an example and explain it. So first, I open up an empty Python file. Suppose I define a variable named var and assign the value 10 to it. Then I print the value of the var variable. In a strongly typed languages like C++ and Java, you have to define the type of the variable before actually running the program. In C++, for instance, if you assign an integer to a variable of type string, the compiler will throw an error. Over here, if I annotate the type of the variable var with type string, the VS Code editor with the help of PyLance extension, which is a static type checking tool, will throw an error shown as a red line at the bottom of the value 10. But as we have seen, the code has already run successfully. This error is the best next thing we can get compared to compilation error in statically typed languages like C++. So basically we are informing our editor to know the type of the variables that we are using in our program. This helps us in the wrong line when we are writing complicated programs because the static type checking tools can provide us with useful information about the variables, functions, and their return values. So over here, if I change the value 10 to something like a string, like hello world, the error will be thrown off and it will not be shown anymore. So type annotations and type hints can help us write clean code in Python programming language. But specifying the types doesn't actually help Python to optimize the code and make it more performant. However, there is another language arising in the AI scene called Mojo. Mojo is going to be the superset of Python programming language. This means that you can run Python code on Mojo. And as as a matter of fact, knowing how to specify the types, type hints, and type annotations actually help Mojo to make the code more performant. So by learning type hints and type annotations in Python programming language, you are hitting two birds with one stone. Not only you are learning to write clean code in Python, but also you are investing in learning a new knowledge for a new programming language that is going to be the future of the Python programming language and the AI scene. If you are interested in knowing more about the Mojo programming language, check out my Mojo programming for beginners playlist. The link is provided down in the description. Now I define a function called numeris which returns the argument passed to it. If you notice, if I type name dot, which is my argument dot, since we know everything is an object in Python, the editor does not suggest any function for that object. But when I annotate the type of my function's argument with type string, when I type name dot, I get a list of functions available for this string type. So you see the usefulness of writing code with type annotation and type hints in Python programming language. So if I print a value returned by my function and pass an argument to it, for example an integer, the PyLens will throw an error. And since an integer type does not have its digit method, if we run the code we'll get an error. But if we pass the string we won't. If you are interested in learning more about Python type annotation and Python type hints, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to follow the Python type hints for beginners playlist. I also put the link down in the description of the video. See you all later.